So Diagnostic Manager uh, for SQL Server collects a wide variety of Windows metrics, SQL Server metrics, and also virtualization metrics, either from VMware or Hyper-V. Okay, so if you wanted to uh, uh, collect additional information outside of what Diagnostic Manager for SQL Server already collects, then you can create what's known as custom counters. So we can create a variety of custom counters in our administration section. We navigate to custom counters. You can see that I have three already created. One for a virtualization uh, metric. In this case, I'm using VMware, so I'm, uh, I want to track my VMware overhead. I also have a, a Windows system counter that uh, tracks uh, the total number of reporting services reports created. And I also have a uh, SQL system counter tracking the number of cached cursor counts. Now, if you uh, for any of these, you can uh, custom counters, uh, if you add additional SQL servers to be monitored to, uh, uh, within SQL Diagnostic Manager for SQL Server, you can link them up either here or by right-clicking on your uh, appropriate uh, SQL Server instance, uh, go to Properties, and there's a Custom Counters tab for you to add that, uh, add the appropriate custom counters to that SQL Server. Okay. Now we're going to create a new custom counter based off of a SQL script. Okay. So that is a uh, single numerical value from a query from your appropriate instance here. Now, uh, instead of typing this in freehand, what I like to do is actually create my query in Management Studio, make sure that it works. Uh, and in this case, I'm tracking today's number of news feed posts here. So I'm just going to copy this query into my SQL script dialog here. Click Next. Now, uh, we can either use the collected value from that query or we can create a, a calculate a per second value uh, collection between uh, your most recent collection uh, and calculate the difference between the two and then um, calculate a per second uh, uh, calculation since the last collection. In this case, we're just going to use the last collected value. Your scale factor may be uh, uh, different from one in, in, the th in the case that you're collecting a metric that is very large. Maybe it's a number of bytes and you want to convert it to megabytes or uh, gigabytes in the case of megabytes you you you'll want to you know scale that down to 0 0.001 we're going to leave this as uh, scale factor one regardless of what you select here you will always want to test this metric um, uh, my motto is test test and test again so this uh, metric actually only applies to one of my instances here so I click test and indeed that looks uh, correct so I'm going to click next here. You need to give it a name here. So I'm going to give it a number of news feed posts. Click next. Uh, you can select whether higher values are worse than lower values or vice versa. In this case, this value is, um, you know, if the number of news feed posts is higher, then that actually happens to be a worse value in the case of like a metric similar to page life expectancy. Obviously, lower values are worse than higher numbers. Okay, so I'm going to give this, uh, you know, thresholds here. So maybe uh, if my informational threshold is 50, my warning threshold is 100, and my critical threshold is 250. If you click on advanced here, if uh, Diagnostic Manager fails to collect this metric for whatever reason, maybe, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, your... Um, uh, database is down uh, on your monitored instance for some reason that you're pulling this data from. Uh, then uh, we can generate alert here. This is uh, really just something that uh, is informational uh, here more than anything. Uh, so I'm just going to choose not to generate an alert, but you do have the option to generate an alert if you cannot create, uh, uh, collect this custom counter information here. Now you can also enable this uh, counter uh, alert uh, by default to alert on these thresholds here. All right, so I'm going to leave this checked. You can uncheck it to uh, not uh, uh, enable uh, these thresholds uh, or this counter alert to fire off if you breach any of these thresholds. Okay, click next here and finish and it was really that easy. Now here you are offered the ability to link this new custom counter to particular instances right now. You can link it to a group of uh, instances here. Uh, in this case uh, this only applies to my SQL Server 2012 named instance so I'll just click add here and click OK. Right. So if we go to our servers area and select our SQL Server 2012 instance and then go up to details, we can actually view the data that's being collected for that particular custom counter. 
And I can filter this list. This is a list of all the uh, metrics, including custom counters that uh, SQL Server for Diagnostic Manager is currently collecting. So if I click on custom counters just to kind of filter that, right, I can see the number of news feed posts has gone uh, over uh, one of my thresholds here. I can actually graph it if I click on this little checkbox here. Now we've just started collecting data here, so um, we only have two data points right now. But you can see that we're already collecting data here. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.